So first up, I'll machine up some timber for the draw boxes. So I've gone and jumped the gun a little bit. I need to pack out the sides of this carcass to be level with the inside edges of the face frame there. So I can use anything I've got. In this case, I've got a piece of the 19mm veneered MDF board with a 6mm piece of MDF, which creates 25mm, which is the right distance to get that nice and flush at the front there. So now with all of these face frames packed out, looking good, feeling good, ready to accept the draw slides, I can now make the draw boxes themselves. I now know what the openings are going to be. None of these uh, packers are sitting proud, so all of my opening sizes are whatever this is. So I need three at that size and four at this size. So there's my draw components ready to go. All I need to do is assemble it, but in order to assemble it, I wanna make a nice strong joint. And at the moment, if I just glue this front panel onto, the, onto these rebates here, it won't be very strong. It's end grain to long grain. It's a very weak joint. So I'm going to reinforce that with a few dowels that go in through the side of the side panel into the front panel or to the back panel, whichever way it is. And because I don't have a fence on my drill press, and I don't want to set one up temporarily and I also don't want to mark out four dowels on the front and back of all of these side panels I made myself a little jig here what it is it's just an off cut from one of those side panels the same width as the side panels and I've got four holes in there with a screw in there just just poking through the bottom just a little bit so there's four pin pricks on the bottom of it so what I do is I just lay it on one of the side panels there flush it up with the end of the side panel and get it flush top and bottom hold it there burst my eardrums while I give it a tap and now I've got four pin pricks in there which I hope you can see I can't really see I'm pretty sure that just focused then I like drilling them out this way using an individual location for each hole rather than using a fence and a stop because this way I don't have to deal with the swarf getting in between the workpiece and the fence each time which gets very annoying after the 100, 150 holes that you need to drill now with the insides all sanded I've dry assembled this together I've got all the tops flush to each other and it's just sitting in a couple of clamps. All I need to do is extend these dowel holes into the front and back panels with a drill so that I can then assemble it.
That'll do it. So this will be the board that I'm going to use for the draw fronts. Now, there's a bit of figure through it, there's a bit of a wave through the grain so it's dancing in the light a little bit. But I've marked a chalk line along one of the uh, growth rings there to illustrate how the grain is curving through the board. You can see at this end it's got a great big arc and at the back end here it straightens out pretty much. So it's not a problem for me actually it'll look quite good when I'm finished but I've just got to think about how I'm going to do this. So I need three pieces at about 800mm to get I need 800 mil for the three draw fronts at the at the top and then 800 mil for the two bottom layers. So I could just go 800, 800 and 800. But that's not going to be too good because when I do that, if I just cut, cut that at 800, let's say cut that in half for the two bottom drawers, I'm going to have rising grain up to halfway up to the apex there and then I'm going to move up to another layer and have it go down the other way. It'll it'll create it like a little maze or like Donkey Kong type thing. Oh, I want that. I want it to have some kind of symmetry left to right, up to down, bottom to top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, pick the middle point of the arc there, about here somewhere. And I'll come 400 mil back from that edge there. 400 mil the other way, and I'll have what do I need? Like 270, 270. So that'll give me the three drawers at the top, and that'll have a nice arc from left to right, and it'll have the high point in the middle of the drawer. Then on this side, what have I got here? I've got 730. I need two at 402.5. So 700 is not enough. So what I can do is I can measure back 400 mil and I'll get the left bottom draw front out of this side here and then coming over here I'll take another 400 mil and that'll get the right bottom draw front here and I'll have to just align this grain with the, um, where am I over here so, uh, over here I'll have to align that grain a little bit so I need 176.5 I've got 185 mil so I've got 10 mil that I can move this up and down to align the grain a little bit. And then this side over here, I can just take 800 mil. The grain is all straight and I'll put that into the middle two drawers. So that's what I'm going to do. So it'll work out a lot, a lot better. And I've done this before. You have to really think about how it's going to end up in the finished piece because a lot of people just go through, well, I need a piece at 800 mil, they just go bang, 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 ship it, they put it together and say, huh, I wish I thought about that beforehand. And now with my drawers all assembled and the glue is pretty well dry, I can go ahead and cut some 4mm plywood as for the drawer bottoms. Now, 
The overall length is from the back of the drawer to the inside of the front groove, and the width of the panels is from the inside of the groove to the inside of the right hand groove, whatever that length is. Now, the length can vary a little bit, doesn't matter that much, but the overall width, you want to get it pretty well close. You don't want to be too big, you don't want to force it in there, but you also don't want, you don't want it to be loose either because if you get it pretty well snug, it actually squares up the drawer itself, assuming you've cut these panels square, which I will. So that's it, drawer boxes, drawer bottom. That's the last of the assembly, so now I have to do the worst part of this entire job, of any job. I need to clean up any of the dings and dents that I've put through the carcass, the top, the plinth, the drawers, whatever. Sand it all up, and then put the finish on. So I'll skip through that process, lickety split. Oh, that should do it. Now I'm going to install the top and the back panel, and then after I've done that, I'll put the false fronts on the front and the drawer handles, and that'll be it. I'm out of here. So first up, I'll get some double-sided sticky tape and put it on the front. Stick that down nice and good. It's very critical that the outer perimeter of the uh, seven drawer fronts forms a rectangle or a square or something like that. The gaps on the inside they can vary a little bit and you won't really notice them but if, if the outside edges are stepped in and out because you've misaligned anything it looks really really bad. So what I've done is I've made myself a little story stick. It's a stick, it's got some lines marked on it and it tells me a story. So when I, it's 25 mil wide which is the offset from the bottom plinth up to the bottom of the lower drawers. So if I just sit that down onto the plinth and line it up to the left hand side there, I've got a series of marks here. So I've got a mark here and a mark here. So that's the outside of the first drawer and then another mark there and there and that's the outside of that drawer. So the only way I can screw this up is if I move the story stick left or right a little bit. So what I do it might not be perfect, perfectly parallel up this edge, so all I do is I always reference from the left hand edge, and that way it brings it up in a straight line. Number six for number six. Get my story stick on the bottom there. Rest that, get it up hard left. Make sure my drawer front is within those lines. Since it's not actually perfect on those lines, I'll just focus on the left hand side. So 
hold that there and reach in behind and pull the draw front or the draw box towards the draw front to make sure that the sticky tape engages. And like magic, <laughs> I was a little bit timid there, like magic it doesn't fall off. Well there it is guys, I reckon it's looking pretty good. There's a few things that I change, there's a few things I'm really happy with, but overall, I'm happy with it. I reckon I've done a pretty good job of it. I reckon my sister should love it. If she doesn't love it, she doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. And speaking of my sister, I've got to get this loaded into my ute right now, drive it over there, get it delivered, because she's really keen to get this thing. Any questions, comments, suggestions as to what I should have done that I didn't do, things that I did do that you thought was really good, and things that I did do that I shouldn't, shouldn't have done, let me know. Enough chit chat, I'm out of here. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time.